I got some fiberglass in there. Did a pretty good job. Not perfect. Got some resin all over myself. Came out pretty good though. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna come off. No problem. driver Obviously, I need to trim this off and clean up this edge. But that is the basic rough shape there. I hope it's not curving too much that way. Obviously, I need to trim this off and clean up this edge. But that is the basic rough shape there. I hope it's not curving too much that way. That'll be all right. The only reason it needs to be, you know, fairly straight all the way down is at the back, the propeller has to be in the water, so it can't be, you know, the boat can't be too high. But I can always make the shaft as long as it needs to be. I don't want to tip this end down anymore because I want this, you know, to line up right with the original thing so it has a smooth ride for the water all the way through. See if it's lining up well on the inside. If I get something just pushing against the edge a little bit, I can line it up. And this doesn't quite touch the bottom. And I think if I take if I take out a few of these PVC things and let the back spread open a little bit, then it'll be able to sink in. A little more, just to get this to to be right, even with the 
the mold. Could also be some dirt in there. I don't know. I didn't check before I put this in. Anyway, it's close enough that, yeah, if I take out those PVC things, let the mold spread a little bit, this will definitely touch. And then maybe put a few holes or something in here, just pressing it against. Yeah, that lines up really well. Yeah, just like that. There is another thing that I can do to like straighten this out a little bit, which is squeeze the sides in a little more. When you squeeze the sides in on this kind of shape, the ends come down. That would also make it faster. So I'll just squeeze it in as much as I can and still be able to fit the pedals and my butt in there. Yeah. I'm not going to do the other half of the mold today though. I want to think about what I want to do with the other end there. This is not bad. I do want to be able to attach a rudder. It looks like this line right here is where the, uh, the material meets. I could trim it right along there. Then I'd have a flat spot to put a hinge on the rudder. I might be able to come up with a even better thing for the other end though. Oh, and a few people asked how I got this mold. It's from the Shark Slicer. And uh, if you go to construction boat, like one or two or three or something, You'll see me making this. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description of this. Basically, it's two flat sheets. Like this was a flat sheet and the other side was a flat sheet. And I connected one end, like connected this part all the way here, and then stuffed pieces in that were the cross section I wanted. And then I put some more fiberglass on the outside to make it keep that shape. Shark Slicer is five layers of fiberglass. And this is just three. Uh, two layers of this stuff and one layer of this stuff between the other two layers. Because I want to keep this lighter. And I also made sure like down this whatever you call this, the seam, I smeared any pooling resin out of there. Because you know, that wouldn't add a ton of weight, but it would add, you know, it's just dead weight having resin down there. So I smeared it up the sides. I uh, didn't wait to get pigment for the resin, so it's uncolored. I was just excited to make it, so I made it. And it won't, it won't affect performance or anything. I'll just have to make sure the fiberglass is painted, which I should do anyway, so it's fine. I'm also thinking about making a subfloor, which is something I was kind of thinking about before. Because uh, like where the pontoon comes to the bottom, it's a point. So it won't be a very good spot to stand. Not that anyone has to stand, but it would be kind of nice to have a, a flat thing there. So I'm thinking at the bottom, maybe that much of the bottom, put a little floor above that, and then stuff the middle with bottles and styrofoam. And, you know, if I have that going the whole way of the boat, um, that will prevent sinking, even in ca catastrophic disaster. Unless the boat is like literally severed in half and all the stuff comes out. But in that case, there's probably a bigger problem than sinking. Man, I've been saying but too much. I gotta stop saying but. Everything doesn't have to be a but. Not everything in the world is a but, Jamie. Can you, can you do some smiles for the camera too? Yeah, smile. <gasps> Give me some smiles. Where's your smiles? Yeah, there's the smiles. Oh yeah.